Wiz Comets, Alex here delivering a perfectly measured dose of the top five short show from Barcroft TV intravenously via your veins directly to your brains or just via your eyeballs if you're feeling more traditional. Barcroft bring you a sheeny shiny new clip every weekday telling a story from the amazing side of life plus full-length television documentaries every Tuesday and Thursday. And now we also bring you clips showing you the most marvellously mind-bending, unfathomably fast and wonderfully weird vehicles from all across the planet on our sister YouTube channel, Barcroft Cars. Being subscribed to both Barcroft TV and Barcroft Cars automatically makes you a 16.72% better human being. So get to it. Are we clear? Good. I'm glad we have an understanding. Now let's career on with the countdown. We scuba dive in at five with what surely has to be one of the most impressive selfies ever taken. Daring Dutchman Peter Verhog set his camera to flash while taking a splash with a great white shark. My apologies go out to Facebook fan Daniel Babano, whose friend Clarice watched this video and then felt inspired to challenge Dan to take a selfie with the animal he most fears, which isn't sharks, but spiders. Good luck trying to wriggle out of that one, Daniel. Maybe you could hire this body-painted contortionist to pose with you instead. We're firing up the flux capacitor at four and pumping 1.21 gigawatts of power into this video of a real life DeLorean. Mock Marty McFly, Ollie Wilkie, owns a car that's almost an exact replica of the famous vehicle from the Back to the Future series. And it even initiates a time travel sequence of flashing lights and sound effects when it hits 88 kilometers an hour. Last week I asked you Wonder Wafflers to let me know about actors, singers and other talented folk that you think deserve to be more famous than they currently are. And your answers were a revelation. I've discovered so many interesting people. Totally agree with the YouTuber who said that Tuvalu's songs are awesome and I think I've wasted about 12 hours of my life watching Mikey Boltz do impressions of cartoon characters. A lot of the big ups you guys gave related to vloggers who are making shows about video games, so I thought I'd ask you a video game related question. What game do you think has the best soundtrack ever? Which catchy tunes can you just not get out of your head after you've finished battling on the buttons? Let me know in the comments below. In the meantime, let's press up, down, left, right, A, B, start and get back to the show. Walking in a smart, orderly fashion into the number three spot, as prescribed by official documentation, it's our two-part mini-series which follows Australian businessman, former humanitarian lawyer and aid worker Andrew McLeod as he takes a highly unusual holiday around one of the world's most notoriously private places, North Korea. Although Andrew was accompanied by North Korean guides at all times, who were there to make sure he didn't see or say anything he wasn't supposed to or that might go against the government, he still managed to capture some really insightful footage and reflections about the country, from revealing evidence that citizens' internet access is being blocked, to taking a look at the Earth's deepest underground tube network, which doubles as a nuclear bunker. in at two, at an eye-watering top speed of 226 miles an hour, it's Britain's fastest street legal car, Red Victor 3, built and driven by petrolhead Andy Frost. My favourite things about this clip are the uh, charismatic expressions that Andy uses to display his enthusiasm. Sweet <laughs> as a nut. Oh, come on, you <laughs> Come on! Sadly, while Red Victor 3 used to hold the record as the fastest street legal car in the world, not just the UK, it was knocked off the top spot in September by an American team. Some of you wanted to know a bit more about this, so to answer your questions, the title is now held by Larry Larson and his Chevy S10, which can cover a quarter of a mile in 6.16 seconds compared to Red Victor 3's 6.4. I'm sure that Andy is sharpening his razor, ready to shave off more fractions of a second from his personal best as we speak, though. We're seeing double in the top spot this week. 
It's two for the price of one at number one as we meet the twins who are addicted to modifying their bodies and who perfectly match their diets, their workouts and even their plastic surgeries. 25-year-old Swedish sisters Sarah and Emma Koppenen are obsessed with looking their best and looking like each other. The pair have both had three breast surgeries to increase their boob sizes from a mini milk A cup to a ginormous jugged E cup and they've also had numerous injections of fillers in their faces. They're even considering having ribs removed to make them seem slimmer. Lots of you debated not only whether you thought the pair looked good, but also whether the siblings' relationship with each other was enviably close and supportive, or whether they were encouraging each other in unhealthy ways. My comment of choice, however, is made by the YouTuber who points out that in the photograph of the girls at age four, it looks a lot like they're flipping the bird. How rude. That's this week's top five short show all done and dusted, but before I unfold my secret hidden wings and fly away, let's take a little look-see at what's coming up next week on Barcroft TV. Check out this snappy customer. Make sure you're subscribed to both Barcroft TV and Barcroft Cars so I don't have to come over to your house and mop up your tiny little tears with a hanky when you're crying because you've missed an unmissable video. That's all from me. I'll see you soon, Joy Giblets.